Hello everybody and welcome back to Admiral Presents. It's time for the Eaters of Light, episode 10 of Doctor Who's series 10. And yeah, um, this time I don't think I have much to say uh, uh, before I watch the episode. Um, it's about the past on Earth, I think, and uh, we get to see some Roman soldiers. And of course, a monster or monsters. I don't know. Let's watch and find out. I start the episode in three, two, one, and go. Steve, what are you doing? Come on! I want to hear the music! Music? You're going to get me in trouble. And I'll get the blame. No, come on! That really sounds Scottish. Doctor? Okay, a raven who's screaming doctor. So why is Scotland suddenly more important than guarding the vault and keeping your sacred oath? She thinks she knows more about Romans than me. Oh, well, that's explained everything, thank you. You don't know more about the Lion Legion than me. You don't. What is it? Pay attention. The bird. What about it? But he talked. Well, of course they did. It's a crow or crow style. Well, they don't talk in the future. Of course they do. Human beings just stopped having intelligent conversations with them. <laughs> Not a bit of a huff. Very casual look, not all. Near churches. <laughs> women in hats. Exactly. What is this? Bones of What could do that? Total absence of any kind of sunlight. Death by Scotland. <laughs> no. Well, there they are. Life, each other. They're a big pile of bodies. They attacked us with a, a thing, a monster. So. The Roman thinks the barbarians attacked them with that monster. Okay. Here. Interesting monster. Come on! Well, let's hope she's the brains of the family. <laughs> because there's a big bad wolf of a monster out there and you live in a house of sticks. Nice here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like what you've done with the place. Yeah. <laughs> I destroyed the Roman army. Did you? What? You? <laughs> Just on your own? That's quite a trick. I'm the gatekeeper. Gatekeeper? What gate? Didn't you hear the call? Where were you? I had to find the gatekeeper's things. Sorry, wait a minute. Are you the mighty warrior that we've all been waiting for? Where are all the grown-ups? <laughs> another dimension? Or something like that? Or a gate to another planet? Don't be crazy. Don't go through it. What is that? What is that? Going on. Back. They said you would probably never come back. I was there for seconds. Two days. Two days. It's an interdimensional temporal rift. A second in there, 
I wasted days of time on the side. I was in there for two days. And eight hours, five minutes, and... That's good then, isn't it? Oh, you don't know anything, do you? You just stand around making speeches and making a TV show about it. It's weak. It's nearly dead. It'll die soon. Well, let's hope so. The original keeper died in the in a fight with the uh, with the Romans. She's just a replacement. I don't want your help. So you thought the Aetherflight could destroy a whole Roman army? It did. And a whole Roman army could weaken or kill the beast? Yes. Well, it didn't work. You got a whole Roman legion slaughtered, and you made the deadliest creature on this planet very, very close indeed. To protect a muddy little hillside, you doomed your whole world. If you're calling us cowards, hurry on. We already run away, we know. You're not cowards. You're scared. You're children, scared almost. You're scared as human. Okay, he's dead. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. You make it. You their champion now. There is no time for fighting. Exactly. We never wanted to fight. You speak Latin. I don't. <laughs> Neither do I. Not a word. And I don't speak whatever they speak either. Something to do with the TARDIS, maybe telepathic field? So now that we all understand each other. We all <laughs> Look how proud he is. <laughs> you sound like children. You sound like children too. We all do. This is what happens. You can understand what everyone in the universe is saying. Everybody just sounds like children. There are exceptions. Anyway, I'm out. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a cool uh, monster design. I, I like that. What are you doing? This is the clever bit. Well, tell me. The gate has to be guarded. There's no other way. The trouble is, human lifespans. Ah. Uh. They're hilarious. You get used up too quickly. So what's the answer? The doctor. Time to grow up, Doctor. Time to fight my fight. I'm sorry, no. No one else can do this, not like I can. We can. The Legion of the Night stands ready to serve. Oh, stop being brave. I can't bear brave people. <laughs> I'll put the story in the storm. image. What? I thought... That's... That's what... <laughs> the music. I thought I could hear the music, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Can I? There enough time. Where's this fun about that? Tom, you were guarding that vault. We don't want Missy getting any ideas. Well, I should always try to avoid those. <laughs> How did you get out of the vault? So what did we do? How could this happen? It's all right now, Doge. We're doing some work for me. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I assume they knew. Should I have stayed below decks? No, 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 no it's fine. <laughs> She's supposed to be in the vault. Sir, I must protest in the strongest, most upset tones possible. Don't make me go, squeaky voice. The alternative is that this is for real. <laughs> and it's time for us to become friends again. Do you think so? Why are you doing this? I need you to know we're not so different. I need my friend back. I don't trust her. Never. I don't know. That's the trouble with hope. Hard to resist. 
Right, be careful, doctor. Very careful. So, that was the Eaters of Light. Uh, a good episode. Uh, I have to say, nothing really special, but very entertaining. And, uh, yeah, I like the idea of that monster. Uh, and how they uh, fight it back to hold it there or the monsters it's more than one it's a nice idea and it's uh, it's a good episode an entertaining episode like I said before I I, I feel I say that uh, after every almost every episode last two or three episodes uh, about Missy I don't trust her Maybe there is something to that, that she really trying to be good, but um, I just can't believe that she really turning good. I said that before, I think in my last video and that video before, every time when, when it comes to Missy, I simply don't trust her. Okay. At the, uh, the very beginning, um, uh, when I saw that uh, Scottish girl, the replacement keep gate uh, gatekeeper this way around uh, gatekeeper for for the very first second I thought is, is that Karen Gilliam very Scottish very much of red hair uh, of course she wasn't that but it was uh, for first just for a second a little bit confused before I saw her completely but what is what is it with the doctor he will always step in and even when the, this is his uh, death keeping that gate by himself like he said uh, he, he can even regenerate it's just I, I didn't believe uh, that he would stay there that he would do it uh, yes but I don't uh, didn't thought uh, the rider would uh, uh, place him there and that's the point he regenerates. No, never. Not that point. And yeah, um, at the end, the next time trailer, John Sim is back. And we got, I think now, uh, in the last uh, two episodes, um, we get plenty of Missy and Master action, at least I hope so. It's episode 10, uh, sorry, episode 11. And uh, we already get to see John Sim. Maybe just at the end of the episode. That's just. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. But uh, the Mondesian Cyberman coming back. I'm really interested to see um, how they uh, achieve that. That they coming back. And there, that's a starship, a mile long starship, at the black hole. Maybe the Mondasian Cybermen come through that black hole? Who knows? Let's wait and see. Yeah, I don't think I have any more to say at the moment to this particular episode. Um, I just liked it. It was an okay episode. I liked it. And I hope you liked my reaction. I hope... Um, yeah. I hope uh, I see you next time on my next reaction video or some of my other videos. Until then, I wish you a good day, good night, good evening or whenever you watched this and I say bye bye.